Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video I'm going to give you guys my six top perfumes in my perfume collection. So I'm just going to jump right into it. It's not that many but these are my top favorites and well for now because you know things are always changing and there's always new perfumes coming out but these are my favorites for now. So I'm just going to jump right into it and I'm going to start with the first one which is Armani C and as you guys can see it is like pretty much almost done this oh my goodness this is like a very mature perfume and it kind of smells like it has a little bit of vanilla in it but this is something that I would wear on a date with an older gentleman <laughs> um, and I think it's for like, I don't want to say older women, but maybe mid thirties and up. Uh, but this is Armani C. I would recommend getting this one. Um, and it stays on you all day. You don't need a lot. Um, I actually was introduced to this by a friend of mine, uh, when I went to Qatar and I'll actually get to the perfume that I got from Qatar last. So you guys can see that, but this is Armani C. Um, try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Okay. Um, my next one is Givenchy and I hope you guys can see that. Okay, so this is Givenchy and this is the perfume. Ugh. Someone purchased this for me as a gift. So <laughs> I had the Bloomingdale's magazine and pretty much I opened the book and I didn't know what jumped out at me, but it was this. So I started piercing through the pages and found all of the perfume pages and pulled this out. Sat the piece of paper on my countertop and guys, I'll tell you this. Every single time I walked past that paper, it was just like in my face. And this is another one that has like a, it's not really, well it has a little bit of floral in here. It's not overwhelming. And probably some orange I don't know it smells like some oranges in here yes pick this one up too guys I want you to guys pick up all of these <laughs> and I don't think you actually need a lot of perfumes in your perfume collection um just have your go-to that you can put on every day that's not too much for the average person to smell every single day have your staples um that's like your signature smell this would probably probably be one of my signature smells along with the C um, that I would always wear and purchase. And like I said, when I put this piece of paper on the counter, it just kept jumping out at me. So thanks to the person who purchased this for me like last year. Um, but this is like my second bottle, so I actually do like it. So I'm actually going to link all of the names in the description box for you guys to take a look at. Okay. And the next one is... Uh, what is this? YSL Libre. Um, this it says Libre, but I think people say Libra, Libra. I don't know. Um, so when I purchased this, I didn't realize that I got the intense one, but this has like a, a vanilla musk type smell. It's not for everyone, but I like it. This is a more of a mature smell, also. Um, I am forty guys, so I don't need to be outside smelling like a bunch of floral all day but I also like fresh and clean smells too this is not really fresh and clean but this has a nice vanilla musk smell to it so I actually do recommend this I'm gonna probably purchase the other one too it's actually lighter than this one um it's Libre but I don't think it's it's not called intense at the end of it so um check this one out too like I said I'm gonna in the bottle oh my god look at the bottle can you guys see the bottle the bottle is amazing it's like, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So that's that one. Then I have Joe Malone, which is not for everyone, but this one is the, the Poppy and Barley. And Joe Malone is not the cheapest thing in the world. Um, but they have different scents of Joe Malone. So I would recommend everyone have at least one Jo Malone in their collection not necessarily this one but go out figure out which one fits best with your body because all perfumes are not 
for everyone. So to me, it really depends on your lifestyle, like how you eat and stuff, because it comes out of your pores and it may not mix with something else. So try this one, Jo Malone, Poppy and Barley. Um, this is another one of my staples that I try to keep in. This is also my second bottle. So I keep this in my rotation um, along with the C. I'm sorry, not the C, the, um, the Givenchy. Um, and <sighs> this one, which doesn't really mix with everything that's here because this is very fruity, florally. I don't know. But this is Marc Jacobs' Daisy Love. And, um, I don't know if it focused for you guys. I don't know. Um, so, this one, the bottle is gorgeous. So, I bought this one because I was supposed to get the Chanel new, I think it's Privé, for the nighttime scent. I did not like the smell of it. You know, people were raving about it, but it just didn't smell good to me to go to sleep in. I was looking for a nighttime scent that was very light and that would not interrupt my sleep. <laughs> this I like. It's very light. It has like a little fruity and floral smell to it, but it's not overwhelming to the point where like you're sneezing or you smell like a child. So um, try this one out. It's the Daisy Love Oh So Sweet. Oh yeah, So Sweet. Yeah. I like this and the bottle is like extremely cute guys I actually think all of their bottles are really cute so um I don't think it's focusing for you guys because it doesn't look like it looks like my face is focusing um but try this one out and let me know what you guys think and last <laughs> this is a no-name perfume that I got made in Qatar so the young lady who introduced me to C we actually went on a trip to Qatar um, she's actually from Qatar. Well, she lives in Qatar. And we were out at like the local market or whatever. And it's gorgeous out there. And this smells like... This is very intense, okay? When I say you need a dab of it, this is made... There's no name to this. I don't even remember what kind of wood they use. But this is actually made from wood. Like wood chips or whatever. They made it in front of us it was amazing so it's not a staple of mine um but this is something that i would keep for probably a long time because it's not something that i wear every day um if i were to go back i'm sure i'll get another one made but it came in this really really cute bottle like i thought it was amazing and maybe i'll give you guys a story time of my trip out there because that was fun that was really really fun when I went but again this is the wood made perfume and I believe it's made with oils and wood and um, just natural scents but I love this and I think that if you do take a trip to Qatar go to the local market in their like downtown area and just roam around it's gorgeous out there the people are very very friendly and to be honest I would live there <laughs> I would totally live there <laughs> Um, but this is something that I got from there, guys. So, that's it. Those are my six, like, kind of, like, staples. I wanted to throw the one in there from Qatar because it was different. And, um, I'm sure there's places out here in the U.S. where you could actually get perfume and stuff made from, like, natural, um, environments. Stuff like trees and woods and stuff. But... That's it guys. If you like videos like this, please comment below. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and also hit that notif notification bell. I load videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. I am trying my best to stay as consistent as possible um, with this being a new channel. But if you guys stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco we see you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.